If you've ever wondered whether it's possible to run multiple computers in sync with each other with very little setup hassles and ease of use, then you won't have to wonder any longer. Nuendo offers a revolutionary new technology called System Link. This is a new synchronization format unique to Nuendo that allows you to integrate the power of multiple computers together to work as a single system. Steinberg also includes this technology within Cubase SX, allowing you to integrate both Nuendo and Cubase SX systems into one seamless network. In this movie tutorial, we will cover the main features provided by System Link and the steps necessary to get it running. First, let's discuss some of the benefits that System Link offers. First, you can achieve sample accurate time lock among all computers. This allows you to use multiple computers for a variety of tasks within music, film, and post-production and maintain the highest possible accuracy of their playback positions. There is no need to worry about timecode formats, synchronization devices, or compatibilities. System Link takes care of it all. Second, you can get full remote transport control. There is no need to worry about MIDI machine control or Sony 9-pin setups and compatibility. All transport controls sent from the master system are received by all the slave systems. Third, you get full sample rate clock sync, digital audio channels for transferring audio from one machine to a slave, and up to 512 virtual MIDI channels that can be used to sequence and control instruments set up on slave machines. And last, since the systems are sample accurate locked, you can use System Link as a foundation to be able to use other systems as effects processors, sending audio from one system to another for processing and back to the master system for final mixdown, all in real time and with no latency. That's quite a lot of power and functionality, and it's all handled over a single mono digital channel on your audio interface. This means that something as simple as the left channel of a digital SPDIF port on your audio interface can be used to create an entire system link network between all your computers. The key to successfully using system link is setting it up correctly. After that, there's nothing difficult about it. You simply have multiple computers running Nuendo in total sync to use however you see fit. You can work away performing the same tasks you would normally do on one computer, but you can now do it on several computers that are always in sync with each other. But before we begin looking at the setup configuration in Nuendo, it's important to know that there are several hardware setup requirements for your audio interface in order to use System Link properly. This involves some detailed information regarding the network architecture of System Link. Because of this, I highly recommend that you spend some time reading the System Link portion of your Nuendo manual, as it will help you gain a better understanding of the information I'm providing to you in this tutorial. For now, just remember this. System Link is a two-way communication process. Both computers must talk to each other in order to make it work. All this requires a single mono digital channel between the master and slave computer. This means you can use any type of digital connection, whether it's AES-EBU, SPDIF, ADAT, TOSLINK Optical, or any other format that communicates digital audio. To keep it even more simple, Think of a SPDIF in and out port on your audio interface. Each computer's SPDIF ports should be connected to each other to provide you with the proper two-way communication link for System Link. Essentially, both computers having both SPDIF ports connected to each other, in to out and out to in. Okay, now that we've got that idea down, let's take a look at the setup requirements for System Link. The main configuration page for System Link is found within the device setup area in the device menu. In this window, you have all the options necessary in order to get System Link up and running. First is the option to activate System Link. With this off, System Link simply will not work. Next to this, you have both a receive and transmit indicator that will light up when you have a successful communication and information is being sent between the computers in the network. This is handy for troubleshooting connection issues. Next is the option to determine whether the digital audio channel you are using is used for the system link data or for both the system link data and audio. With this option activated, the connection is only used for system link instead of both audio and system link. The purpose in this feature is if you intend to use virtual MIDI with system link. 
Using MIDI over the system link can require more bandwidth if you have a lot of MIDI information going on. If you have both audio and system link going through the same channel, then it's possible that your MIDI timing may suffer due to the lack of bandwidth. Next is where you choose which audio port, such as SPDIF, on your computer's audio interface you are going to use for system link. Since it's a two-way communication process, you must make sure to choose the same channel for both ports. Next is the option to set the machine online and ready to receive sync from other system link systems. The beauty behind system link is that there is no real master or slave. All machines can be used to control the others if they are all online, giving you the freedom to sit at any system and have all the systems running for you. However, if you find it easier to work with a typical master-slave environment, then make sure to disable this for the master and enable it for the slave computers. The offset parameter allows you to adjust for any slight latency or drag that you may see in one system. Since not all audio interfaces are alike, if you happen to use different audio interfaces on all the computers, then this feature may come in handy. Otherwise, it's recommended to choose a single brand of audio interface for all the computers to be used in the System Link network. Next is the ability to set up MIDI ports over System Link. This creates virtual MIDI ports that can be used to send and receive MIDI from one computer to another without the need for any MIDI equipment. So for instance, if we activate one MIDI port, then we can go to a MIDI track and we now see a System Link port show up in the list of available output ports. This MIDI track will now send MIDI data to another system that has the same port chosen as the input port, even though the other system has no MIDI interface. And finally, we have a network connection display window. In this window, you'll see a list of all the computers that are successfully connected within the System Link network. If you don't see a system show up in the list, then there is something wrong. In this case, backtrack and make sure you have your physical connections and system link options set up properly between all the machines. Finally, make sure that all these options are set up the same among all the computers. The only exception is the input and output ports for the system link. This may vary depending on the type of audio interface you are using. However, the goal is to make sure to choose the ports that you are using to physically connect a cable to the other systems. Once you have all these options set up properly, you should be on your way to an amazing new way to work either by yourself or with a team of others all working on multiple computers. With the synchronization ability that System Link offers, there are many ways you can put System Link to use. The basic goal is to synchronize multiple computers together to work as a single team. With System Link's architecture, there is no limit to the number of systems you can have in a network, leaving you with endless possibilities. From creating a rack full of computers to handle all your virtual instrument needs, to creating virtual effects processing suites, to using an old computer as a sample accurate synced video playback device, System Link gives you the power to achieve these goals and more.